Hey, hello guys, I wish you a Merry Christmas from Dr. Base here in Canada. Uh, today I have bought at the uh, kind of a sale uh, from Boxing Day this nice uh, laser show for Christmas. Uh, I think it's manufactured by the uh, Mr. Christmas Company. Uh, you can have more information here. Uh, just adjust the, uh, yeah, sorry for the, all right. Mr. Christmas and that thing is uh, very uh, I would say complete for a small laser show uh, with keyboard you can program and write actually write your name and write some sentences on that little box and um, it actually have galvo uh, galvanometer so that there's a X and Y axis galvanometer into this one and at that price, with all the programming, the laser, the green laser, and uh, the, the 12 volt adapter, for $29 Canadian, it's actually a pretty good deal. So, I've decided to buy one just for playing with and exploring uh, how it is made and how it is uh, working. So, here you see there's a display which is a touch screen display. And when I connect it, uh, when I will connect it, uh, you will see uh, all the options that it uh, offer. And also there's a really uh, a clear label indicating less than 5 milliwatt, uh, 532 nanometers for a green nice laser beam. So I will show you before uh, opening it what it looks like inside. Okay, so that is pretty impressive for a device for that price. You see there's X and uh, that's a Y and X galvanometer here with the two mirrors. A laser here, which is a 532 nanometers, a DPSS, a diode pumped laser. And it is exactly like most of the uh, uh, galvanometer based uh, light show, which include um, uh, power driver for uh, both axis and all the adjustment here. And that's a pretty interesting. And also you have uh, this potentiometer right here, which uh, uh, is um, actually adjusting the power for the laser because of the regulation of different country. You cannot use a power uh, laser uh, for above uh, five milliwatt unless you have uh, um, some uh, class and instruction, uh, uh, you know, uh, some permit for uh, that kind of laser, which I, I have already because uh, I've worked in that domain. So. Uh, yeah, so this one is actually uh, for 5 milliwatt uh, maximum setting, but <laughs> I will show you how to hack it because you can pump that laser pretty high compared to what is actually uh, 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 already set uh, from the manufacturer and also those potentiometer here. So let me describe uh, a little bit how they work. I didn't uh, search for all these, but uh, I think some are for the high frequency filtering, low frequency filtering, some gains. But uh, for those first here, I discovered that uh, one is for the uh, size of the uh, X axis and one is for the uh, size of the Y axis. So you can play with the size of the image playing with those two potentiometer. And on this one, uh, I've tested, I've just adjusted this one for uh, 10 more turns on the laser and uh, I uh, to make sure that I will not blow the laser, I just touch this one here just to make sure that uh, in fact it will not uh, burn the laser and uh, with 10 turn that one is just keeping barely warm it's just okay well, as you can see there is no heat dissipation on this one so uh, you have to be careful because it's only plastic <laughs> and that's actually the first time I see galvanometer uh, with a plastic uh, molded uh, <laughs> mount <laughs> but it's it look it, it worked pretty well and some interesting thing also that I discovered is that there's a little switch here that switch um, uh, uh, with trial and error, I discovered what it uh, can actually do. So there's the power button here. When you press on this one, while keeping press on this one, you push on the power button and you will have access to the uh, uh, test pattern to adjust 
the laser uh, 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 axis for the high frequency, the shape, the, the corner to uh, ameliorate the uh, image. But unless you are not familiar with that, I will not recommend playing with all these, except you can find on the internet some uh, ILDA pattern and uh, some instruction, uh, maybe for a uh, photon lexicon from, or uh, maybe candle power from, that you can uh, get the instruction on how to adjust galvanometer potentiometer. That would be very uh, helpful. But prior to do that, I will suggest you to uh, write the original position, those are multi-turn uh, multi potentiometer. So you have to note how many turns you do and from which position you start. So uh, write with a pencil and count the number of turn on a piece of paper or something like that. Otherwise you might just uh, <laughs> mess up everything and uh, will not be able to uh, get the image back uh, correctly uh, again. So let me show you what it uh, do when you uh, power it. So. I will just put back the cover and continue filming with my end. Uh, so I have two ends, one for filming and one for powering that device. So, okay. So we'll put it right here. Connect that power adapter, which is a 12 volt, one amp power adapter. And it seems that there's a seal for uh, outdoor use. There's no ground on this one, you can see. So I'll connect it. All right, and when you power it like that, there is a blue LED indicating that there is power on a board. Okay, so when you power it on the first time, pressing the uh, button here, yeah, the nice screen with a light right laser show and all the menu. So I'll just um, remove the sound a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> all right. Okay, so you see there's a menu here with uh, many different themes and also here there's a message so you can play with um, that one for uh, writing your own messages and you can save these. So that's uh, really nice. So you see on the wall, okay, I will just uh, turn the light uh, off a little bit. So you see that's the actual power when it comes from the manufacturer, okay? I will just give you an example when you change that power. So I've counted 10 turns, so I will count 10 turns back to the uh, ACK position. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you see that's actually very, very bright here. I will say about maybe 50 milliwatt or something like that. So you know um, how to manage it. Don't put that in your eyes of your good friends. So the brightness of that one is uh, really nice. And um, I will show you the uh, test pattern. So first of all, turn it off. And while holding this little button here, power it on with the switch underneath it. So, and done. You have the test pattern, which is very similar to the uh, common laser light show test pattern for adjusting the corner, the high frequency, the speed, the damping, and all these things. So you see RGB uh, letters, which is not RGB because it's green. So yeah, that's a test pattern. I've played it with a little bit and uh, decreased the uh, width and the height. Uh, to project at uh, further distances and it seems to ameliorate a little bit the corners. So yeah, and when you power it off and power it on again, it goes back to the original. Uh, and I will say the scan rate is uh, quite okay, I will say 20-25k, uh, maybe 30 sometime, or maybe 30, 30 no, I will say 30, uh, uh, 20k. Uh, because uh, actually the, the image is not flashing a lot. Uh, the camera, I know it's difficult to see on this one, but uh, yeah. I have uh, my own razor projector that I've built and it's a uh, 40k uh, speed. And uh, this one appeared to be uh, like, yeah, 20k. So I hope you appreciate it guys. And uh, yeah, for uh, that price, it's a damn good deal. So maybe there's other um, possibility. I will end this video with that. 
Uh, here, it's on the keyboard. Uh, there is an input for programming. It's written program actually here. So maybe it's I2C or CAN bus. I, I'm not sure. Or there's 3.3 volt maybe CAN bus. Oh, there's no CAN high and CAN low. So yeah, there's maybe 485, something like that. Maybe uh, hacking this chip. And if you have better knowledge than me for that, uh, maybe uh, you can reprogram it for your own uh, purpose. So yeah, I hope you uh, appreciate this video and thanks for watching guys. And uh, I wish you a Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.